A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. First down, here's White. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Operating from the gun, Jones over the middle complete. It's White, and he will have a Patriots first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now back to the ground game with White. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now Harris. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second and a yard, Jones. Open man right side, Myers. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. A give to Harris, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Patriots go up by two touchdowns. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up CD. That now 15 for him on the year. And give him a ton of credit for staying healthy, being a smart runner, and is showing just how important he's been to his team. He's got to be their MVP at this point in the season. And those votes may have been turned into league MVP votes when it's all said and done. Kenny Dewangu now out of his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one, but now playing here on Thursday night, do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? Well, ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. Matt Judon, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. I don't know about you, but if I'm the offensive line coach right now, I'm having an absolute fit. This team that they're going against has three sacks, yet they rank dead last in the league in sacks coming into this game. Maybe overlooked them a little bit? Could be. I, I don't know if it's the scheme. I don't know if they've just gotten fortunate along the way. I have no real great answer for it, but we're seeing something you don't often see. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. They'll run with Harris. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there, not a whole lot of real estate. But a nice carry. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. 
And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now a give, running left is Harris. And a pretty good pursuit there defensively. He's brought down, no gain on the play, second down coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll try the right side with Harris. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. Looking to throw, Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Tyquan Thornton with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Patriots take a three-touchdown lead. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. On second down, Cook. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy. The st and a third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Well, there are several factors at play for why they face this deficit right now, Charles, but well, that's now three interceptions that he has thrown and just giving the football away pretty careless here in the opening half. Yeah, I know that all of our parents taught us to share as youngsters, but in this game, you don't want to share with the other team. Keep it for yourself. Keep it for your team. Got to cut down on all of those throws, those errant passes, if they hope to get back into this game. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time, was well for a solid game. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So first and ten now from the 30. Now a give up the middle. This is White. Oh, able to avoid him. 
42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris, his second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Pats are able to add on to their first half lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now out comes Minnesota. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he's brought down. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Cook. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Cook will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. James White and company ready to go offensively. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Jones. Off the play fake. Out to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Got the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Vikings will take over here first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. I mean, 